Okay, so we're going to check the connector here. So I'm checking resistance at the uh, Nissan Titan glow plug module. Kind of hard to see in the video, but I'm checking resistance for each glow plug. It's disconnected. So that one there is number four, half known on that glow plug. This one is number three. There we go, Let's slide along at the connector. Checking it, and this is, we have pin 19, glow plug number two, half an ohm. Terminal tool over one, and we have half an ohm. Should be pin 18, terminal 18 at the connector, glow plug one. But we're worried about number five here. But it's a good idea to check them all because you might be looking at a schematic that's not accurate. So move along and we actually have one here that's higher than the rest by twice as much resistance, 1.4. Looking at that, that's terminal 24. And we have number five glow plug, and that's one thrown on the curve. Might as well check them all. Um, half an ohm. Half an ohm. So number five, it's not okay, but we'll put a load on it just to double check. This is a glow plug number five that's run a code. We have less current than a good one, and I'll show you a good one. This is a good glow plug with a headlight bulb in series. And we're doing that so we don't overheat that glow plug. So 3.8 amps. So this Cummins 5.0 EGR cooler was a complete nightmare to get off on the 6.7 Ram Cummins and Eco Diesels. Not too big of a job. This one, first of all, weighs a ton. Not sure why this one's so heavy, but we have a coolant pipe here, coolant pipe there, coolant pipe there, coolant pipe there, coolant pipe here, and one more up top, right there. So you can actually get this gasket. I'm pretty sure the only way to separate the bracket from the EGR cooler is to basically take all of these, well, really these two nuts you can't get to on the vehicle. I'm not entirely sure how they expect you to get it all on there. I'm assuming that this has to go on as a unit. This is a cylinder one glow plug. And we have 0 0.6. Move on to cylinder three. And we have 0 0.6. Move on to cylinder five. Move 
we have 1.5. Move on to cylinder seven. And then we have point six. 